like to show you my 1961 Corvette. The four speed, two top, white convertible top, and a white hard top. a uh, battery shut off so I want to turn it on so we have power. It's the engine, it's all stock, it is a replacement engine, vintage correct, 283, 230 horsepower. Two previous owners uh, prior to me had the engine rebuilt and the car refinished and refurbished back in the early 2000s. Okay, so here we go, I got the key. We'll go for a little ride on the road. temperature gauge, battery, oil pressure, all works, headlights, directionals. It needs a canceling cam on the directionals. They do work, uh, but the canceling cam needs to be replaced. So let's go for a ride. So again, this is my 1961 Corvette in Roman red, white coat. It's got Firestone Vice Ply uh, white walls that I purchased from Poker. Full stock. I've owned uh, five of these over the years. Three of them were 61s. I love the 61. It's the first year of the ducktail back, like the Stingray, and yet it still has the traditional C1 front. You'll notice the chrome is in nice shape. The original wheel covers. The paint finish is really beautiful on the car. There's a couple of very minor flaws which I'll point out to you as we go around the car. You'll notice uh, the stock type exhaust. I purchased that from a company called Gardner in uh, Old Hook, New York, I believe it's called. And uh, they actually make uh, pipes for Corvettes and muscle cars. And they have original uh, General Motors and uh, all the different manufacturers' blueprints. And they have original type exhaust pipes, mufflers, and tailpipes. This one has an off-road exhaust system. And it's just a little bit uh, more of a flow through, less baffles in the mufflers. And it's got a really sweet sound. Uh, no humming or anything or a drone on the highway. Uh, again, it's a 370 Posi rear. So I'll show you a couple of the flaws on it. Down here, actually, these spears aren't perfect. 
the chrome is, uh, you may want to change those. They're pretty inexpensive. Let me open the hood, I'll show you. Actually, if you look real close, you can see in the paint here, looks like a little bit of a mark or crack underneath the paint. There's also, looks like one little spider crack right here in the paint. Again, it was refinished back in around 2000. But it's held up incredibly well, showing under the hood. Got 283 stock carburetor. Uh, the gentleman that had the engine rebuilt did put a little bit uh, more of an aggressive camshaft in it. So it's got a little bit more of a lope to it uh, than a pure stock. But it's quiet. I'll start it up for you. A couple other minor flaws I'll just point out. Nothing under the hood. It's got a new, uh, um, I mentioned the new exhaust system. What else does it have? Well, that's right, it has a new heater core uh, on it, so the heat works fine. Everything's connected there. Uh, new water pump I had put on it at the time. Uh, new hoses from underneath rather and uh, on top and you'll notice they have the GM markings on them too. I have taken this to Corvette shows and it places all the time but because it's a nice pure stock car it hasn't been modified. Again right down here in the lower rocker looks like it's nicked up a little bit here right here got a little bit of a crack right here in the white paint. Again these spears starting to turn the chrome a little bit. Let me start it up. Tire is brand new. I just bought that also. I'm matching 